As it turned out, Mr. Jaggers had invited Herbert, Startup, and Drummond, and he seemed to be principally, if not solely, interested in Drummond. Your blotchy, sprawly, sulky friend reminds me of a spider. <coughs> he is not my friend, Mr. Jaggers. We merely study together. He's very rude, and he's a poor skull. I'm quite sure he is, but I like that spider, though. I'm glad you like him, sir. I don't. No, keep as clear of him as you can. As they looked between Mr. Jaggers and Drummle, there came between me and them the housekeeper with the first dish for the table. Now, I had been to the theatre the night before to see Macbeth, and it seemed as though her face had risen right out of the witch's cauldron. Dinner went on rather competitively, especially when we got to the cheese, and our conversation shifted to our rowing feet. And as to strength, I assure you I can scatter these gentlemen like chaff. Now, Mr. Drummle fell to bearing and spanning his arms to show us how muscular he was. So, we all fell to bearing and spanning our arms in the most ridiculous manner when suddenly... If you talk of strength, I'll show you a wrist. Molly, show them your wrists. Master, don't! Molly, show them both your wrists. Master, please. Come! Her wrists were much disfigured and deeply scarred. There's power here. It's remarkable what mere force of grip this woman has. I've never seen stronger. That'll do, Molly. You've been admired and can go. At half past nine, gentlemen, we must break up. Pray make the best use of your time. Mr. Drummle, I drink to you. <laughs> 